Hey guys, welcome back to another Steam free-to-play walkthrough. Today we have Kill Count, which I believe has six endings. I've never played it, don't know anything about it. I just know it only does window mode, which is lame, but it's alright. It looks pretty interesting at least. This is your bed. Hello, bed. Be very careful with it. The, the words, the bed on this ship are state-of-the-art and extremely potent. <laughs> A ship named Kill Count. Galactic war has ended the, in the complete annihilation of both sides. The chain of resources and information has been severed. Makeshift communities made up of displaced species were pushed to the outskirts of the war zone. Now these hovels are in uninhabitable words. <laughs> Orphans, old folks, and animals hitch rides on ghost ships bound for nowhere. Last night, you and a convoy of strangers boarded a scuttled dominion warship home is far away okay okay it's your treasure chest you like to dust it from time to time it's your pride and joy open it hell yeah open it you throw the lid open with gusto <laughs> there's a single page from a game manual with no title on it open the menu and select social to inspect your personal belongings and social connections if you need a clue about how to help someone, you may find info in these tabs or by speaking to them again. Open the menu and select Diary to save your game. Do so often to avoid potential loss of progress. Thank you for the reminder. Press F1 to access key to access window, access audio window and keyboard options. If you only if only you knew what this game was for. About the Pokemons, obvi it's obviously about Pokemons, I can tell you that. Now I go full- Oh, there's a full screen! I just don't want it to mess up my recording. There you go, but there is a full screen if you hit F1. Let's freaking ride. Okay, I'm not- I'm not doing it, but we, ha we have that option. You've been watering these plants routinely, but you're starting to get the feeling that it doesn't drink water. It drinks blood! Okay, we're out. What's up, fam? Creature stands before you, sort of, and struggles against its gelat own gelatinous body. It rises and falls and turns as it, its const constituent fluids <laughs> try their best to maintain a recognizable shape. Hiya, I'm Cleve. Thanks for stopping. I bet you're a busy person. I'm in a bit of a pickle. I was just wondering if you could help me out. Oh, don't worry about which of my faces to talk to. They're all fake. Evolved to scare off predators. That's terrifying. Just look at me dead on when you talk. Now back to what I need from you. That was kind of blunt, huh? Don't be offended. I'm just kind of in desperate trouble. I'm melting. I'm melting. Or maybe not melting. I'm returning to my totally natural form. You see, on my planet, we use the whole buffalo. You get me? The whole meal goes in and nothing comes out. Well, except the meat. Can't digest it. It's kind of toxic to my species. But we use our food for everything. <laughs> Bones hold us together. Hair is a vital source of protein and helps to trap warmth. Not sure what skin is for, but we eat it often. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I would normally have serious moral conflicts with the idea of consuming any of the fine people aboard this vessel. But the hour is drawing late, and I've been known to part with my morals in times of crisis. I'm being kind of flippant, aren't I? Yes, you are. Yes, you are. <laughs> but listen, if you don't give me what I need, I'm going to separate into my primary components. I'm desperate. You understand what I need? Deep Wellington? Probably bones. No, no, you just don't. Wait, you said it. Bones. I need sturdy, powerful bones to get started. When my species- oh, I nailed it, thank god. When my- I don't want to get hate. When my species swallows whole bones, we get the benefit of a slow meal, plus usable structural components. If I swallow a whole skeleton, I can accomplish complex feats of dexterity, but I'm not asking for that much. I just need one or two strong bones to last me through this trip. Please do me a solid and just think about it, okay? I won't ask where you get the bones, but don't kill anyone if you don't have to. Leave is literally melting in front of your eyes. A little bit of goop just dripped into the drain. Hope that wasn't an important part. You'll keep an eye out for what it needs. That's kind of sad. Poor dude. Y'all got some bones in here? For you stands a creature who is more fist than man. His colossal hand size belies his probable profession. This man is either a boxer or a typist. A typist? Why? What do you want? You looking for a kiss punk? As a matter of fact, I am. 
But looking at a hundred pound weakling like you, I what 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 did you say? <laughs> You're just trying to go out, goad me. It's not going to work. He says as much, but his cheeks have grown rosy red. Mwah. I was scheduled for a fight tomorrow night. A big one, a real big one. 10 ton Thexabob. Thexob. The system's premier pugilist, pugilist. The match of the year, a lot of money on the line. People look down on species with only two hands. I was going to bleed them all dry, but then it all went down. The death toll was astronomical. 10 ton Thexab was caught in the crossfire. Nothing but respect for the man. One of the all-time best fighters in the sport. I guess that means technically I won the match, but <laughs> that is important now. Hey, let's go. Undefeated. What is important now is getting my little brother to a safe planet. First one we pass, I'm gone. Anything that gets in our way gets the fist. <laughs> Don't fist me, dog. <laughs> but I'm bouncing off the walls in here. My fist feels naked. Maybe you wouldn't understand, but I fought every week since I was born. Literally, the Infant League is a very important step towards professional boxing where I come from. You're in the Infant League, bro? Don't worry about me. I'll be fine. I'm just gonna punch the wall for a few hours. You cross anything that fits nicely on a hand. Maybe you should make a quick stop back to speak with him. Okay, what's up, crab dude? There's a young boy with tears in his eyes standing before you with a toy in his hands. Ooh! Oh! Sniff, sniff! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I didn't see you there. I wasn't crying, honest. You were a liar. Maybe I was crying a little bit. My brother won't let me go outside. He says there's strange people here. I just want to find the cops. Huh? No, there hasn't been a crime. Not that those cops. I want to find the Stellar Cops. It must be a TV show. Maybe you haven't heard of them. Everyone at school watched Stellar Cops when they get home. Got home. Well, they did before the school was evap Ooh, evaporated. It's like the Paw Patrol. And I just thought I, could, I maybe I could. Ooh, ah! <laughs> That's what I sounded like, probably. Hey, uh, I'm your Majesty. Uh, my home planet, we call the Reigning Belt Holder. That's me, Majesty. Yeah, they, so I can't call a bird that. Brother will get mad if you haven't earned it. You maybe help me out. It's not a big deal. I just thought maybe some. Someone else around here collects stellar cop figures. I've been trying to collect them all with my stellar scanner, but it's been so long since I've been home. You help me out, I'll make it worth your while. Honestly, please. The child looks up at you with tears still fresh in his eyes, an overwhelming sense of guilt bubbles up inside of you. Did I do another shot? Yeah, why not? <laughs> you take the skeleton. Oh, fuck. Oh. You mean it? I guess we just said we're gonna do it because I clicked. Oh god! You mean it? You really mean it? Yippee! There are five in total. One of them is over on my desk. Alright, man. Give me a second. You're the best, uh, um, bird. Thanks, man. I aim to please. You're not quite sure what a bird is, but it's probably a character from his TV show. I think it's a species, my dude. Species of animal. Oh man, I got some of the alcohol on my fingers. Someone has been carefully building a model. It kind of looks like a vehicle with wheels, or maybe an old lady. The stellar scanner is reacting to this action figure. You focus on the shot and take a picture. A little red readout comes to life. Stellar cop, one out of five. Lidero. Lidero. You just thought of a joke. You start giggling to yourself. <laughs> you already forgot how it goes. Bang. <laughs> <laughs> the creator must have been struggling to come up with a joke there. Good, and you got me. Someone's bed. The covers are tucked in extra tight. What about his bed? Are the covers also tucked in extra tight? There are holes in the top layer as if they bite their covers while they sleep. The flower. Uh, let me out. What is this? Someone left a bunch of trash on the table. It wasn't you, was it? No, of course not. I would never leave trash on a table. What kind of monster do you think I am? It's a trash can. It looks pretty much unused. Take a look inside. Just a little, Lexi. You found two clams. Help the economy out. People usually toss their spare change in the trash when they get home. Kind of an un- What? Unwritten rule. <laughs> what? How does that help the economy? Oh, I need to drink my shot. The curve of the planet makes you think of a song. Oh, here we go. This is what I'd live for. 
Something quiet and sweet. You can almost taste it. <laughs> I nailed it. <laughs> That's not <awesome. laughs> There's an electrical socket installed in the headboard of this bed. This must have been installed in the old days. Oh, you got an old day bed, my dude. A tall, thin robot stands before you. It seems to be trying to evaluate your body. You have a heart? <laughs> Only for you, my... Oh, no, please. In that case, please hand it over. I'm seeking a biological heart for uh, study and research, not to place in my empty chest port. Oh, yeah? As a dispatch of the Dominion of EB Echo Bravo 10, sequence units are required to catalog certain biological samples and not to taste them. Such a biological sample would be of great importance to the continued tyranny of the Dominion and is not to be used for interior decoration. All biological material will be disposed of safely and not rock to sleep in the cradle. The robot continues to prattle off a list of things it should not do with the biological sample. You back away, but it doesn't seem to notice. Okay, good. I was going to like straight up yank my heart out of my bird chest. I was going to... No. Large hate... Oh, it's a kaleidoscope thing. Collision thing. Large hadron collision black hole extinguisher. That makes you feel safer to be aboard. Yeah. <laughs> we have an extinguisher for a black hole. Let's go. Dang, this moonshine tastes a lot different than last time. It tastes like tequila-ish. I don't like tequila. Okay, what's up, dude? No, you're not gonna talk to me? Something flows before you, pouring over data with its enormous cyclopean eye. The iris vibrates sickeningly, sickening, sickeningly fast until it notices your presence. Fixate it approaches you and speaks. What a curious creature. May I process your data? Sure. Much appreciated. It scans you considerably faster than you expect. Then it seems to think for a little while. After a moment, a few moments, you start to tiptoe away. May I go to your house? Yeah, come on over, man. Affirmed. The creature dissolves before your eyes and is gone. At the same time, as anything smell appears in the chamber. You just inhale it? What the fuck? Oh, okay. Interesting. There's a klaxon 2250 on the floor. Seems like a second generation. You can barely hear the nuclear drive. Oh, wow. This is a pretty clean trash bin. Take a peek, of course. Scrounge around in someone's trash like it's none of your business. The junk isn't disgusting or anything, but it is trash. You found a crumpled up envelope containing a minor visa. Interesting, interesting. That's another klaxon clackadoo. There's a film of dust on the fell goobler. <laughs> you aren't sure what you were thinking of with that name. The controllers are sticky. Oh no. Goop based gameplay was a stupid idea in master respect. A ball of soup has been neglected so long it became a petri dish. Seven sensible tales for the indifferent and lethargic. It's alright, but you don't feel like reading right now. There. Seems to be someone's bed. There's a film of dust laying on top of the sheets. Interesting. Hi, right, dude, what's up? What you want, big bird? A hobbled old man stands before you, deep in thought. Every so often, he grunts like some sort of great ape. Come to think of it, he looks that way too. Like a gorilla with an old man's body. Huh? What are you looking at me for? You were looking for a fight? You apologize to the old gorilla with a deferential bow, only to get whacked on the head by the, his wise hand. You don't have to bow to me like I'm an old geezer, kid. Knock your block off if I wanted to. More reason to bow to you, my dude. But you seem like a nice little, little brat. Tell me about yourself. I like exercise. Ho oh, ho, I see. Sort of a muscle bound hunk, aren't you? You just don't get too big for your britches. I mean that. You'll need to buy new britches. But enough chit chat. I need a favor. You'll do an old man a favor, right? Right. Good on you. Listen up. Come a little closer. Looking for something very important. I know it's on this old tub. You'll know when you see it. There's no mistaking it. Jot this down. It's soft to the touch but firm. It's a bit embarrassing to bring out in public. 
but you sometimes need it <laughs> or on a long train ride. You've got it, right? Don't let me down. I'll slide something good your way if you help me out. Don't take too long. What you gonna do about it, bud? It's a book, maybe. I don't know. Can't smell anything because the flower synthetic sim generator is offline. Okay, we're looking for bones, figurines, gloves, and some kind of pocket pussy. 100%. Left, north rig, east, easting showers, and easting bucks. There's moisture seeping through the locked door. A neat placard reads, easting showers. Okay. Scribbles on the door reading north rig. The door responds to your minor visa. With a hiss in the air, it opens wide. Hey, at least I picked it up already. Let's go. Oh, my nose, I gotta sneeze. As you walk into the common area, garbled audio booms over the primitive intercom system. Commander, engine room, immediately. Hear me? Hear me? It sounds like the engineer is having trouble raising the commander. Right east, left west. Thank you. This seems to be a heavily defaced map of the vessel. You are currently on the first floor. Want to look at other one of the other, one of the floors? No thanks, we'll stay here right now. What's up, bear? Is that a bear? That's an ugly looking bear. What are you doing, dude? Fine handwriting reads, East Ribs. The door reacts to your minor visa. Door opens halfway, just enough to squeeze through, if you're careful. What's up, dude? Hannah. Hanam. Oh, it's Hannah. You try to strike up a conversation with the person in the corner, but they won't budge an inch. If you couldn't see them breathe on occasion, you would, could swear they were part of the decor. Cactus is happily tending to his young. <laughs> the cactus is- Aw, oh, you suck at tending to your young. Nope, there it goes, only pretending. Okay, thank god. That's stressful. What cactus? You see an overflowing- Oh yeah, let's dive into this. You find mountains of barely touched food. You know modern families throw away 60% of the food they buy? It's appalling. Wait, this is all a wax prop food. You feel a little silly for getting all worked up about it. There's a mirrored visa wedged in the wax apple. You snatch that up real quick. Hey, we got something good. Thanks, man. Now we can go into more rooms. The pristine door holds a holographic logo, which reads East Holding Cage for VIP applicants seems to require a pre-screening to pass. I got this mirrored visa, my dude, let me in, you dude. You dookie? Okay. You can hear the roar, roar of laboring, laboring machinery from behind the locked door. A rusted placard reads, Meg Bridge. Can I not go in there? Okay. Hmm. Fight me. And the journey continues. <laughs> A stencil graffiti tag reads, West Ribs. The door responds to your mirrored visa. With a yawn, the door slides open at some. Fuck you, door. Mouthy punk. Ooh, look at that snaky boy. What's up, man? Well, this is an interesting sight. There's a mouse doing sit ups against the wall. He's a little chubby, but he's certainly working at it. Well, hey there! Didn't see you come in. This is a bit embarrassing, but. Not every fan gets to see me in this vulnerable state. So what'll it be? Autograph? Picture? Dinner date? This Friday? Who are you? Ah, uh, sure. You don't know what to do. You never seen my movies or my TV programs? Gotcha. He gives you a condescending wink that makes you skin crawl. So this is the power of self What the fuck? self Word. So anyway, I'm not you a bit. Would you mind returning the favor? There's a nasty tabloid out there running a hit piece on me right now. Something about me being serially unfaithful to my wife or something, which is ridiculous. I have complete faith in my wife. Anyway, you happen to see any copies of that trashy mag around? Can you just scoop them up and bring them to me? I'd really appreciate it. Something tells you that there's more fact than fiction to be found in this particular gossip, but you nod agreeably and excuse yourself. The dude goes back to pounding out some crunches. You see a hearty wall gazer. Try as you might, you can ne never see the flowering pool. Botanists are still unsure how this 
genus of plant learn practical illusionism, but they are quite adept and abundantly shy. My spirit plant right there. The mature astral flower is quite a sight to behold. Contrary to popular belief, only young buds are phototropic. By the time the plant is fully formed, it is no longer tracks the position of its governing star. Hmm. You listen closely. 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 <laughs> you can hear the vain voice of the gossip weed. Don't get me wrong. I'm sure she's a nice girl and all. <laughs> There's an unattended bed. Just sit there. Quick, while no one is looking. It's bolted down, you should have guessed. You found two clams inside, though. Better than nothing. Hey, we found some clams again. I love clams. Pristine door. Oh, it's another VIP thing. I can't go in there because I'm not VIP, I guess. Okay. And the journey continues. We can go south. Let's go south. What's up with you, my dude? It looks like a little oddish. Leptin. Psst. Hey, you. Over here. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Small, sly-looking creature beckons you to enter his fortress behind a massive pile of, pile of suspicious-looking crates. You don't want to assume they're stolen, but... You're alone, right? You seem alone. And you seem like hungry, though. I'm right, huh? You're hungry? Your species ingests caloric material, yeah. This is all stolen, huh? Let's just say, I got it all for a steal. And I'm willing to pass the savings on to you if you catch my drift. But I see that look in your eyes. It says, Mr. Leopard, your wares are exquisite, top notch, but I'm no ordinary customer. I'm looking for the good stuff. Oh, ho, ho, ho. you are a sneaky little devil, aren't you? How did you know about my members only supply? You must be a shrewd negotiator. I haven't told anyone about this stuff, but you, you have the snout for it. You can smell a killer deal, and you won't leave until you get it. You feel like you're being taken for a ride. This slept is not a savory fellow. You can tell that much without taking a single sniff. Wait, you don't even have a snout. <laughs> I'm a bird. A banner reads, command center, unauthorized personnel prohibited. And then we go to the left. Can I talk to this thing? You see a tall shrub, well manicured and extremely dense, standing against the wall of the gathering hall. Yo, I'm TK, nice to meet you. Oh dear, that's not a plant, that's a very tall man. <laughs> he isn't covered in leaves, but in coarse forest green hair. Oh fuck, I poured too much. Uh, no! <laughs> I'm dead. <laughs> You're glad he spoke up before you tried to touch him. Why are you just touching random people, dude? I hope I didn't surprise you. Oh, wait, what was his voice again? Oh, I... Some people get the wrong idea about me, I think. Like, maybe I'm dirty because I have so much arm hair. It's okay. There aren't many people like me, where I come from, and even less all the way out here. But I'm not lonely. I find it very easy to make friends. If you'd like, we can be friends too. DK's fur rearranges itself into a foreign pattern. Can't be sure, but you think he might be smiling at you. You nod and smile back. Great! It's an absolute pleasure to meet you. If you ever need anything, just let me know. I'm a humble man. Don't spend much money. Don't like to start fights. But do you think you can guess what I like? I do like? Gastro pubs. Ah, I, I don't even know what that means. Truth is, I'm crazy about animals. Oh, that was the obvious answer. Ever since I was young, I had a keen interest in the natural world. I can't express the depths of peace I feel when a Thessatrix nestles in my hair, or when a young Pluton hound chooses to curl up on my lap on a cold night when I'm watching a movie. It's so life affirming, it's like, I'm a real flesh and blood person, and I'm worthy of love too. Uh, you never felt that? No. Oh, now I'm embarrassed, but anyway. I really like animals, so if you find any, do you think you can send them my way? No, oh, god no. <laughs> Barbie screams, reads, Westing Bucks, the door reacts to your mirrored visa. The giggle, the door slides open. What is wrong with these doors, bro? 
pleasant scent has been sprayed on the locker room. A neat placard reads, Westing showers. Look at the space outside. You got any bones in here? Small pile of personal belongings. All of this could fit into a suitcase. Extravagant food is served on gaudy dishes. This is someone's bed. There's a heart-shaped pillow and a pink bed set. It smells like perfume from several paces away. This is someone's bed. The right side is sagging terribly. The left side looks unslept in. It's as if someone was tr uh, subconsciously trying to get away from the left side of the room. <laughs> it's a couple. There's a bunch of cup clothes hanging on an exposed pipe. They're all dressed in fault jewels and wretchedly colorful. That's a weird. Looking out to the infinite reaches of space, this room feels like kind of a cage. The poster of a handsome testor testo staren idol. There are lipstick stains on the poster. What is this? Did I look at this already? Driving in food is served on gaudy dishes. Got it. Interesting. Very interesting. Shots too fucking. <laughs> I'm scared. There's a paycheck book lying on the floor. Being the you you were meant to be in the 28th century. Holy smokes, this is old. Oh god. This is someone's bed. There are food crumbs scattered on top. You shouldn't eat in bed. You'll get Antorians. On second thought, there are no Antorians in this sector. Kind of a sad thought. Why? This is someone's bed. Clothes are scattered all across it. Someone are even some are even lying on the floor. You're saying? This is someone's bed. All the sheets are on sideways. The corners are holding on for dear life. Someone is working on a project of some sort. There are two toothpicks laid out in an unintelligible pattern. It kind of all looks backwards. This is someone's bed. There's still a vague imprint of its owner. Looking at it makes you uncomfortable. This is someone's bed. They get, <laughs> they get the window seat, so they must be the leader of this room. This is someone's bed. It's radiating heat all of its own. Space is beautiful, silent as night, and then some. Nogami Gawa. Sometimes haikus just come to you. I'm a bird, and birds love poetry. 100%. Alright, what's up, little dude? Oh, hello there. My name is Miru. No, no. You aren't intruding of anything. You might be able to help me. Will you listen to my dream? It started like this. I was floating in a bubble of warmth with a familiar scent. I was incredibly at peace. Then, I started to get nervous. Nervous. It felt like I met my ex-girlfriend at the market, supermarket. Like, haha, what are the odds of seeing you here? You eat cereal too? Oh, successful locker? Me? Hmm, uh... Freelance contractor. No, it was great to see you again. Catch you on the flip side. Catch you on the flip side. Stupid, stupid, stupid. That's how I felt inside my bubble. And then there was a comforting light at the far side, and I reached out to grab it, but I was reaching so slow. So instead, the light came to me, like I willed it to come to me. Or it listened to my calling, and I held it in my hands. It was very hot. Then I woke up. What do you think this all means? I don't know. Actually, I greet every day with wonder and anticipation. I have money to spare and a firm direction to head in. Thanks for trying anyway. I'm just going to ponder this for a little while. Don't worry yourself over me. I'll come up with something soon enough. Hey, look. It's one of the stellar cops. This is the green one. She's the only cop who can. Wait a minute. This is a cosmic constable's figure. Who even watched that show? Oh my god, that's not one of the things I needed. There's a couple of pan, pan, painterly uh, instruments. Lay down on the table, splashes of vibrant pigment stain the surface. There's a bunch of dishes piled up here. When there's nothing to do, even food is a pastime. This is someone's bed. It looks awfully lonely. Jay misses his girlfriend. I need to start giving the obvious answers. Because that's obviously what these people want. There's a book on the floor. Disobey, the science of the effective graffito. Seems to be some sort of prosaic art theory manual. Interesting. Boo, boo. Wait, do I get another haiku if I look at this thing? There's nothing out there. This is a hopeless endeavor, isn't it? You may never see home again. 
Drive those thoughts away. This might be the start of a very long trip. It's best to stay positive. Uh. Whoa. This room is completely empty. Except for space! You look strange in the window's reflection. Somehow, you're squished into a little character of yourself. There's a sparkle in the corner over your left shoulder. You wonder what it could be. You found one clam on the ground. How did you miss that when you walked in? Lucky, lucky. Make sure I'm not missing anything else. What's up? For you, it's a muscle-bound husk. Hunk. Hulk with a <laughs> serious look in his eyes. He looks like a puppy in a cage. He must be missing his home gym. Oi, you, me, Matsu. He extends his hand to shake yours. His body is something like a gorilla, but his face looks like an old man who tries too hard to look young. His grip is very strong. Protein? The old gorilla man looks dejected. You give me protein, I give you shiny glass, okay? Komatsu goes back to mopping on the floor. Moping on the floor. Maybe you'll help him out if you get the chance. Psst, kid. Over here. Over here. The luminescent woman beckons you with her colorful tentacles. This isn't a dream. Pinch yourself if you wanna. I'm talking to you. Yes, like you. You get to do a favor for Esmeralda today. Oh, get over here. I may be out of your league, but I don't. Right. Well, I may be legally required to wear a muzzle on certain backwoods planets, but I promise I won't bite you, sweetie. Now tell me something, and do be honest. What would you say my best feature is? Not shy. Say it. For a moment, Esmeralda is dumbfounded. Then her skin pulses red and she stampers. <laughs> that's not. That's not. I don't. They're just the right size, alright? <laughs> As demonstrated, I have many charming features and I'm proud of them all, and that's where you come in. On my planet, we have metal disc and cosmetic rituals. They're polished to a high sheen and thus reflect light in... Oh heavens. I'm sure this makes precious little sense to such a base and innocent species. Let me make it simple for you. If you see a polished disc lying around, good. Try to bring it to me without touching it with your dirty paws or mesmerizing yourself with its hypnotic glow. I'll trade you a weapon for it. I don't need a weapon, I don't think. If you start picking through this, everyone will see judgments will be made. Treasure is treasure, dude. You find a machinist. Mechanist. A little sticky, but then again, so are you. Why am I sticky? I'm a bird. Birds aren't sticky creatures. Hmm. I'm a bee, bee, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a bee. Dang, I gotta do this shot. I don't want to. Too late. Pour too much. I'm not an adult. <laughs> What's up, sign? Please help to keep the mech bridge clean, safe and clean. Dispose of all waste appropriately. Please wear this offer proper safety equipment. No. Hmm. How about that? That looks like a teddy bear. I can't talk to this trash can. Uh, you can see a bridge authorization on the floor next to the trash can. Someone must have chucked it. I completely missed the bin. Oh well, it's yours now. Go. Oh. Detailed map of the ship's interior. There's no you are here sticker, so it's pretty much unusable. This seems to be a very important and complicated diagram of a woman sitting in a rowboat. It might be a little bit above your pay grade. Everything's above my pay grade. I'm not getting paid. <laughs> the stellar scanner is reacting to the action figure. You focus the shot and take a picture. A little readout comes to life. Stellar cop number three out of five. Amplitudo. Go away, kid. I'm a busy woman. Oh, dear. You haven't realized... The shadowy figure was hunched over in the dark of the lower deck. You'd like to explain, but you think it's best to leave her be. Hey, wait, kid. You like to dig around in sandboxes, right? You like the fresh air? You like to get dirty? I thought so. I thought so. You might be the perfect fool. I mean, er, uh, the perfect tool. 
What I'm trying to say is, you look like the kind of dumb lucky kid who might want to stumble onto something I want. And if you do, I want it. Get me? I'm Tulip, and I study relics, biological relics mostly, fossils. But I also study junk like this ship. It's interesting, that's all. Bring me something interesting next time you dig around in the sandbox. Respect your elders. No, I won't reward you. But maybe I'll pat your head. Something about Tulip is innocently abrasive. Like she hasn't ever had to talk to anyone before. That doesn't mean you have to like her though. Yeah, true. You fill a powerful sense of cold, source of cold from behind the store. It must be a freezer room. No point in showing your hand on the handle. Just find the key first. And this one will be like a hot room, probably. You feel powerful, so yeah. Do, do, do. Down here, a name is scrawled in bloody on, in blood on the heavily worn antique door. Guts. Despite looking like it's about to fall apart all on its own, the door is quite sturdy and won't budge a micron. Interesting. Someone has to face on important. An important shift roster with the text, no one knows the kill count. Uh oh. Do, 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 do. I think I can go in the commander's room now, probably. Yeah, bridge authorization. It only takes a moment for the sensors to scan your entire body and retrieve some biological samples. The door glides open evenly. Okay, thanks, man. Whoa, look at the squiggly man. Oh, your brother? <laughs> An ethel being calls to you in a strange, in two strange accents, switching between them at random. You're not sure where its voice is coming from, as it doesn't have anything like a mouth. It kind of looks like a serpentine lobster. Eyes on stalks as a long, this is sounds terrifying, and a long winding tail all the while it speaks. It does not move an inch. Its eyes betrayed no soul. Boy, oh. Thanks for stepping bay. I have a grilled fish hell. Air, but it's too bland to eat. Mock me? No. You follow most of what it's saying, but some of the vocabulary is unfamiliar to you. It seems to want something to season this fish supper. You'll have to keep an eye out for that. Hey, season the fish. Oh, I think it's like Jamaican, <laughs> maybe. Inside of this plant pot, you watch a tiny ecosystem evolve at a rapid pace. Nature sure is interesting. Look, look, they just invented the steam locomotive. Interesting. The cactus apples are growing in quite nicely. Cactus apples. Man citrus lies dead ahead. You start to sweat a little bit. It kind of feels like you're not supposed to be here. Yeah, let's go anyways. Why not? The broken computer has a sticker stuck across the entire screen, giving it the appearance of a working computer. <laughs> the screen is waiting for input, but there is no form of interface at all. Interface at all. Connected to this unit, you think of something. You think for a moment about unplugging it to save energy, but there's no plug either. Could be a lot of technical information on this computer. Wouldn't hurt to take a peek. Restricted access. Please enter the password. Welcome, Seltzer. Oh, I did it. The Diary of William Chestnut Seltzer. Entry 112.33. Today met Helvetica, Helvetica for lunch. Asked to party. Lost 15 clams through hole in pocket. Must pass butcher for milk and cheese. Afraid password is too easily guessed. Oh, is that it? Gotcha. I guess. You approach a cloudy tank with an organism swimming around inside of it. It stops slithering for a moment to assess you, and does laps as it addresses you telepathically. Greetings, friend. I just took a moment to parse your history in the depths of your person. Let me tell you, I like what I see. That's a little invasive, isn't it? It is, it is, in fact. I now know you better than anyone ever has. I've seen it all, from birth till now. I suppose I should apologize, but I won't. You see, my species feeds on metaphysical, non-factual data. Without it, I would die. Do you remember your first school crush and how they looked at you once? Well, you did remember that. 
But I just ate the whole thing. Whole memory gone. To be fair, it was sub highly subjective and mostly inaccurate. Pretty tasty though. Tell you what, I'll give you one. Eh? Well, only fair, only fair. Here you go. Suddenly you're in a field of flowers and a woman's calling your name. You Sestoda, you Sestoda. Mom is calling you for supper, but you won't want to lie in the grass for a moment longer. Wait a minute. Why would this little gremlin be lying in the grass? Keen eye, my love, keen eye. I merely regurgitated someone else's juicy memory for you. You see, I've eaten so much, I'm less than 1% original. I've got so little of me left, I don't know what, where do I really begin. You know what I mean? It's really nice to hear you say that. Most people are too offended to empathize. But we're a little uh, sincere species. We eat to live. Truth be told, I like to focus on the memories no one will miss. Remember when the lifeguard had to save you from the shallow side of the pool? Yeah, I ate memories twice as embarrassing as that. You're welcome. They're all, all of one of a kind, and now they're all mine. <laughs> God. Can I talk to him again? Huh? Hobbies? I like collector's items. First edition, limited runs, that kind of thing. Someone thought they were being slick. They were browsing a website they shouldn't have been on and turned the primary monitor off than when they walked away. Too bad the secondary monitor is five times as big. <laughs> Someone left their social media page up on this computer. Want to mess with it? Absolutely. You added their profile so that they have big buck teeth and a bush baby in their hands. <laughs> that ought to get them good. It's an air vent. Leads to the north rig. Want to take a shortcut? I don't want to get dirty yet. Water extinguisher. If you've ever been in a water fire, you know how just how vital these things are. <whistles> or you stands a behemoth. Completely obscured by its heavy clothing, it occasionally jabs at a computer with its enormous hand hitting several keys at once. The text on its visor reads, Scout. You don't think you're going to get anything out of Scout. Seems like the tie is untied. The doggo, he must be the captain. You see a beagle manipulating a computer interface with its tiny paws. Your instinct is to pet it, but logically speaking, you probably shouldn't. Hello, child. I applaud your restraint. Of course I can see the tw twinkle in your eyes. It betrays you. You want to scratch behind my ears. You would not survive. I am Commander Flesh Stripper Beagle. On my home planet, I wore a muzzle. We are no longer on my home planet. This is my new domain. My charge. How did I acquire my military rank? I bestowed it upon myself. There was a vacuum of authority, so I stood up and took control. I lead all follow. My team and I are doing our best to crack the ship's defenses and commandeer it for our purposes. It is not going well. Our current trajectory leads us in the path of a star in a matter of hours. Biologicals and heat rarely mix. We need to turn this ship about or flee. Our fuel tanks are down to the millimeters. Help me pilot this ship for the good of us all. Take this guts permit and we see if you can help the others. There's light in your eyes. In your eyes, you'll do me proud. You feel compelled to follow the Beagle's leadership, and now more than ever, you wonder what his, his ears feel like. <laughs> can I touch him? Okay. I kind of remember where the gut store is. Well, that's good. Crawling. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. My bad. Well, at least we're making progress. I mean, we haven't found anything that people are looking for, except for, like, one action figure. But, you know. We're getting permits and stuff. We're going to different rooms, so that's always good. I think the guts room was, like, right down here. The name is scrawled in blood on the heavily worn anti antique door guts. You insert the guts permit and turn it clockwise. You really have to put your weight on it. Hope it doesn't snap. Ah, that did the trick. The door is unlocked, but now you have to push it open yourself. Crazy, huh? Yeah, what the... What in the barbarianism? It's a ferret. Or a snake. It's a ferret. There is a cat rubbing its back against the wall. No matter how long you watch, it doesn't seem to stop. It's simply to stare, you know. Medical condition. Hoochie coochie coo. Who is a pretty baby? <laughs> Get out of my face. Just keep walking, buddy. This is my turf. You need to find your own. I've marked it. If I ever see you again, I'll mark you. Got it? You show your palms and assign a piece and leave the tabby to its own business. 
Grow, grow, glow, my girl. He starts to mumbling with glow in his breath. <laughs> Alright, you know that sound. Let's, let's back off slowly. What is this stuff? Whoa. I don't think I can interact with these blocks, but I could go up here and touch this weird looking creature. There's something terrifying hiding in the corner of this storage bay. And the more you look at it, it's vague shape, the less sense it makes. Step into the shadows, child. Step, 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 step. Be us too. You can be. It doesn't hurt at all. Never hurt again. Join? Come on with them? Yeah, alright. You say as much, but your legs are paralyzed with fear. Your reptile brain knows better than you do that if you take a step further, your body is forfeit. Go not rest. Can't sleep. Until we have you. You are mine. Oh, the nerd. Can I talk to him again? Then was pulsing and bubbling, dripping across the floor. Oh, hell, they're high water. Come on, May. You will be us. You are me. False. <laughs> oh. It's always getting annoying. <laughs> I love I. Don't you mean me? You're right. I love you. Dang, that was slick. Look at that. Stellar scanner is reacting to this action figure. You focus the shot and take a picture. A little readout comes to life. Stellar cop, two out of five. Help a truck. Well, at least we're getting those at least. I mean, it's something. <laughs> Not getting anything else that people want, but you know. Good for us. What are these little sharks? When you enter the room, you see several papers spread across the floor, and an authoritative voice booms. Behold the puzzle room and despair! One poor corner, find me there, four directions like the air, galloping on horses' hooves, make sure only right you choose. One per four corners, find me there, four directions like the air. I don't freaking Ice and water, not correct. Fire and earth, fire further still. Wind and earth, heart, double check. I'll entrust thee with my will. One and two, and three and four. Then my puzzle is no more. This is going to take some serious mental fortitude. Remember all the clues and race to beat the clock. Ready, go. No. It wasn't easy, but you managed to figure out the trick in the puzzle. But thank God, it began the puzzle master's words. It was pretty clever because had you stumped for a few minutes, but in the end, you prevailed. You received five clams. You should really pat yourself on the back for a job well done. Thank God. At least I don't have to figure it out because that would have been, well, pretty awful. <laughs> Not gonna lie. I just want to make sure there's nothing in here. I don't know what's up with these little sharks. They look like sharks to me. They might be just like cracks in the ground. There's a light box full of VIP IDs spilling out onto the floor. Someone must have busted this open. They're just a by. You're just a bystander. No big deal. You pick one up. So what? You're a VIP now. Interesting. Good. Cold shiver runs up your spine. Interesting. Wait, don't go this way. When you walk across close enough to the lonely box, five clams materialize on top of it. A ghastly voice echoes around the room. A fitting price for a soul. You take the money without thinking about it too hard and make a beeline for the door. The voice echoes out again. The contract is sealed. The ghost is an absolute sucker. There's no way a verbal contract will hold up between spiritual planes. Got him. Uh oh, what's up with this dude? What's up, man? You see a woman floating a few feet off the floor. As soon as she sees you staring, she gives you a mean look. Um, can I help you? What's the matter? Never seen a space maid before, punk? Just kidding. <laughs> oh, thank goodness. Your blood had just run cold. Truth be told, no, you've never seen a space made in the flesh before. Of course you haven't. We're, we're rare as a cryptid, and generally prettier to boot. <laughs> just kidding. Let me ask you a question. Do you ever, do you think I could use a haircut?
I've tried, but floating around like this always turns it back into a tangled mess again. Maybe I'll take up walking like everyone else. Just kidding, I literally can't. Haha. <laughs> Seems to be the just kidding type. Definitely the type to laugh at her own jokes. Hey, come back and talk to me sometimes, okay? It gets lonely down here. You want to ask why she's just floating around a storage compartment, but you decide that's a question for another day. Okay. It's another graffiti. Do you know the way to data? Something broken, it's the key. How many beds can fit in one room? You know the answer, take the necessary steps forward. Uh huh. Six. I don't know. What do you want from me? There's another action figure over there, though. Let's go! Stellar scanner has reacted to this action figure. You choose. Focus the shot and take a picture. A little readout comes out. Comes to life. Stellar cop, 4 out of 5. Nerdima. Well, one more to go. Blah. This music is actually kind of annoying. <laughs> it's getting old. Can't be sure, but this may be the engine room. Every half a minute, a rapid si raid siren blares. Engine room, critical failure. Big red skull flashes on the door's interface at a dissing frequency. You can't tell if can't you can tell it isn't happy about something. Can I go back in it or is that it? Not talk to this. There are a lot of per very important people in this world, huh? I guess I did. Okay, I got the VIP passes now though. Good for us. Pristine door bears a holograph. Yeah, I know. Thank you. Banner flashes a different message. Welcome, VIP applicant. Please prepare your wallet for inspection within. The door steps aside with curtsy to let you in. Thank you. I am a very important person, after all. There's a trash can that refuses to make eye contact with you standing in the far end of the room. You approach it with a mean look on your face. It refuses to acknowledge your presence. You pick it up by its shirt collar and demand respect. The trash can coffers up one clam. It will think twice before it invades your territory again. I got a lot of clams. What's up, cat dude? There's a dog sleeping on the floor. Every now and then, he starts wiggling his snout. You sit down and watch him for a while. At one point, his little thumb thing above his paw starts moving independently. That's pretty weird. Now he's yipping a little bit and half committing to a running motion. It doesn't seem like he'll wake anytime soon. Best to leave him off for now. This is interesting. There really aren't a lot of green thumbs aboard, but someone has been keeping this plant trimmed and wet. Okay. Interesting. You expected to find a locked door here. However, whatever was once in this doorway has been blasted away. From the looks of it, this is all ancient history, maybe even pre-war. Interesting. Oh, it's a sonar. There's an inner pit in Impenetrable vault door sunken into the end of the hallway. There are no windows and no handles and no markings of any kind. Okay. Interesting, I guess. Diary. Babe. All these social interactions. What's up, Squid Boy? You see a monk meditating on the floor, his legs folded elegantly. He seems to be aware of your presence, despite never opening his eyes. He speaks. Water wears the earth down, wind whips the mountain, battered and broken mountain. Fate makes a face. Child, do you know who I am? <laughs> Not a clue. The man begins to perform a complex visual gag. It falls on deaf ears when he spreads his arms and bows. You realize you were supposed to have enjoyed the performance. You sort of smile and nod so he doesn't feel too bad. Now you understand. In my country, I am hailed as the king of variety television. I've even toured the world to spread my vision of peace and laughter. You feel a cold wind blow. I am bluff. You can have an autograph if you want one, but you have to buy my headshot. 
You don't entertain the notion for even a moment. You respectfully could decline. Then, to your great surprise, you raised your head to find tears in his eyes. I try really hard, you know. Honest, I do. But everyone thinks I'm a joke. You would think that's a good thing in comedy, but I... I but I... Sometimes I just want to be recognized. It pays the bills, but I don't always like to be the butt of jokes. Just once. Just once. Just once. Could a supermodel give me her number in private so I could smile kindly and say, I'm sorry. I love my wife very much. Too much to ask? Without a doubt, that is too much to ask. <laughs> I don't know if a layman can understand this kind of deep melancholy. You sort of feel bad for Bluff. Against your better judgment, he may live a charmed life, but in the ranks of the charm, he seems to be the lowest of the low. Okay. It must be some valuable VIP trash. You feel like a VIP now. You're entitled to it. You can open it, right? Yeah, I deserve it. That's right. You've earned this prime ignition. Hey, that seems like an important item. Might get this old bucket of bolt. Bucket of bolts moving in a good direction. Yeah, but where do I take it to? The engine room? I doubt it. There's a tank over there. The book has no title. The first few pages are ripped out too. It's written in a language you don't understand. There's a bookmarked page about halfway through. There are doodles in the margins, idle thoughts scribbled in black and white, a robot with hearts floating around it. This feels very personal. Close the book. Okay. What's up, tank? A little toy tank just looked in your direction. It rolls over to you with a conscious effort and parks at your feet. A hatch opens up, blinking periodically. Contraband? Deposit contraband anonymously. Face no consequence. Limited time offer. Clean streets tomorrow. You make- you have knife? You have gun? You have prescription? You have unregistered cat? Deposit. There's nothing to fear. Camera on for your safety. Main gun loaded for your safety. Retina scan for your safety. Deposit down forever hold your peace. Let him shell your hand first. He has never bitten anyone before. Smell your hand. But you don't want to be the first. Preliminary charges pending. You are free to go. Do not leave the country just in case. Okay. This should be the last action figure over here though. Let's go. Yeah, we got Chad. All right, let's take this to the little boy. Well, at least we completed one of our missions. That's good. I feel like this is a long game. <sighs> Definitely said it has multiple endings. My goodness, it's gotta be a pretty long game. Uh, what room was he in? Second one. It's gotta be the second one, I guess. What's up, man? Hi, you're back. Could that mean? Diff Tong snatches the stellar scanner from your hands and dances around the room in joy. Stellar cops, we are the stellar cops. No speeding allowed in Galaxy Town. Crooks and robbers. Jaws will drop. The murder rate is steadily going down. You don't know how much this means to me. I'm going to be take one last picture of you because you're my new hero. Here, take this. It's really valuable. Don't lose it. Thanks, thanks, thanks again. Don't mind me if you ever get in trouble. I know Kroti. Diphthong enthusiastically shoves an officially licensed Stellar Cops flashlight into your hand and runs off to do whatever it is you deal with pictures of Stellar Cops. On closer inspection, the flashlight doesn't turn on, but you know what? That kid's joy was reward enough. That sucks. Well, I got a broken flashlight achievement. Which is, how many achievements are in this game? Six? Oh, only five more to go. Uh, where'd the game go? Oh, here we go. Alright, where do we go now? I guess I could go back to the engine room, why not? Or... How did we get to the- oh, I know, I know. Or I could give it to the captain. We could go to the captain next if it doesn't work. And I don't know if I can get into the engine room, this thing. Actually, let's uh, go to the captain first. Oh, wrong way. 
think we'll go to the captain and then he'll give us something to get into the engine room and then we go into the engine room and then we fix it and then we go live a happily ever after life. Oh wait, I can talk to these freaks. Let's do that. What's up, dude? When you turn the corner, you find a robot alternately powering up and down in a loop. The poor thing seems to be in considerable duress. Model order 1X-Ray 7 Bravo Bravo Alpha. Software, copyright, 3120, Dominion Soft, please wait. Good morning, inferior biological whelp. Requisition order, 00001, fuel, 8 fluid ounces. By order of the Dominion of Echo Bravo 10, I am authorized to command you to procure fuel pursuant to a continued peaceful occupation. Will you comply? Control, delete, son. Evidence of malicious intent catalog. Please stand by while legal action 15 filed. I'm linked to legal server failed. Don't think you're off the hook, kiddo. Critical fail power failure. Please plug device in to prevent lost data. Good morning, inferior by You decide to walk away while the order model is powerless to stop you. Yeah. Sounds right to me. You see a gargantuan creature weeping bitterly in the middle of the gathering hall. You casually approach it with outstretched hands and ask if it's alright. Yeah, I'm okay. <laughs> You're not sure about that. Its trunk is dripping. It's a pitiful sight. You see, I, uh... I'm Humphrey. It's nice to meet you. My girlfriend broke up with me last night. Said she... Said she couldn't be seen around town with a guy like me. I blew a blue blue. I can kind of see it's... You see it too, right? I'm missing that one thing that makes a man a man. Pride? No, that's not it. I'm pretty proud of my entrepreneurial accomplishments. Boo hoo hoo. Can't you see it? I'm totally and utterly bald. My dome burns <laughs> under moonlighting. She said she needs a man with a mane. Oh, 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 oh. You can see that Humphrey is really broken up about this. You'll keep him in mind if you come across something that can help. Alright, let's go talk to the captain, like we were going to do anyways. What is this crap? Did we talk to these plants? God, I got so many missions that I haven't got any of the crap for and it's really messing me up. Cause I can't remember what half of them won anymore. Alright, what's up doggo? I got something. Hello, child. Walk boldly. Those who ch walk change the world. That's it? Oh, you suck. I hate you. Uh. Ooh, hoo, 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 hoo. I guess if this doesn't work, I can try that elevator, see where it takes me. Oh, it worked. Okay, cool. The ignition worked. What'd I do? No, my bad. What's up, box man? You see a cuboid type way, typing way at a workstation with one hand, manipulating complex data in a very intimidating spreadsheet program. With the other, it's grinding for gold in a freemium game. You tap the cuboid on the shoulder. Whoa, you scared me. Don't sneak up on people like that. I have flashbacks to high school. Do you know how many times I had my phone confiscated? Do you? Once. Just once. I was forced to rewire my brain to ensure it never happened again. How can I perform two simultaneous tasks with perfect coordination? Bounce my checkbook while asleep. Brush my teeth while on the phone. I get dressed in the shower. I eat during board meetings. Getting dressed in the shower? All of these talents sound... <laughs> Impressive, but are entirely counterproductive on closer inspection. Yeah. My name is Fochel. Never forgets it. Forget it. You try to commit that to your memory, but your eye is caught by a terminal being operated by her right half. She's been grinding for gold the whole time you've been talking. I wanted to be an epidem epidemiologist. Epidem. Whatever. Epidemiologist. You know, I wanted to look at petri dishes and statistics. I spent a whole time in my school to study my craft. 
When I graduated, I became a receptionist in an office building in the city. Ten years. I did that for ten years, and I hated it. Hey, hey, hey. Rochelle is visibly frustrated, a little teary-eyed. On the other hand, she just raided another player and made off with their bank vault. She seems pretty good at this game. Sorry, I just don't like thinking about those days, so I think about them a lot. Know I quit? Know I'm here now? <laughs> they wish. Nothing could ever be proven, and it never will be. The building burned to the ground overnight. Some say it was arson, others say it was arsane. The local pyromaniac. Either way, they, that gave me just the kick in the butt I need. I needed the butt I needed to take some to me time. A book to flight, yada yada yada. One thing led to another. Now I'm in the engine room for, on a ship that's headed for the sun. I just can't catch a break. I just want to tickle viruses, man. Rochelle chooses to ignore on several upcoming peace treaties and continues pilfering gold from unguarded coffers. Interesting. The primary engine is dead. This must be why the ship is drifting through space without purpose. You might as well do your part and start it up. Take out the prime ignition and give it a free few flicks. You've always hated using these things. Can never do it with one flick. For, one, for a moment, you think about home. Not so far away. Only light years. That's all away. Flame comes alive in your hand. You place it under the engine. A faint glow spreads around the orb, and forward sounds reverberate through the ship. You can hear, feel the distinct the direction shifting. Looks like there, that was enough to cover, recover control. There's an atrium. Atrium pass hanging on the wall. Must have been the engineer's copy once. You take it for yourself. It would be nice to take a little peek up there. Where the where's the atrium at? I'm dumb. Barely make out a figure surrounded by a blazing orb. To look directly at them would be extremely destructive to your eyes. They're giving off actual heat too. Oh no no no. I know you're not looking at me. Look at you. You're literally cowering before me. Pathetic. Do you even know who I am? Estrella, you just looked at my nameplate, you cheat. I'm not impressed. This won't surprise you, but I am an actress. A big one. Oh, it's a woman. An important one. Makes sense, yeah? Now scram, you sniveling peasant. Don't even try to talk to me unless you can look me in the eye. I need sunglasses. Okay. So we started up the thing. Good, I guess. Where's the atrium at? Where would that be? Atrium. Uh, I don't remember seeing an atrium, to be honest with you. I could try the elevator now, though. That's what I think we're gonna do. We're gonna try the elevator. Bob, Bob. Ooh-wee. Yeah, this is quite the... Oh, wrong way. My bad. This is a longer type game. For having six endings anyways. Do I have to play through the whole thing to get all six endings? That's a question. <laughs> that needs answering. I would assume so, but... Try AF. Ah, yep, Atrium's over here. VIP hallway, west cage, east cage, atrium. Oh, this is this just maps. Okay, it's not an elevator. Cool. Cool. I know where we're going. Look at me. Look at me knowing things. Hey. Surprise, surprise. Who's running the show now? It's me. Wait, what? You lied to me. Maybe it was this way? I don't know. Ah, yep. Massive door swings wide on its hinges, and as it, if it weighed nothing at all, the room greedily sucks fresh air from the hall into the chambers. You stand in awe of the atrium. Okay. Interesting. View is spectacular. Great. Alright, let's just do the shot. I've been having it for like a while. I know it's a big one, but fuck it. Whew. The view is spectacular. 
A great glass pane exposes an enormous, enormous <laughs> strip of space, shining with a range of vibrant colors. You can tell this will be the end of your journey, of the journey. There's nothing to collect in here. Just step up to the window and enjoy the ride. Wait, what? There it is. Hanging in space like a swollen red fruit. In moments, everyone will board the escape pods in this spark. And then who knows? The atmosphere may be toxic, the ground may be arid, the creatures may be hungry, the sun may boil your blood. But there's no going back now. For a moment, you think of home. Your heart hurts. Nothing for it, though. Only one way forward. Here we go. What? What? One and only. You feel as though your time aboard was fruitful enough. You've had a couple of good experiences and made a few acquaintances. Maybe one good friend. That's enough. Future is uncertain. Maybe home isn't so far away. And after all, it won't take so long to find a merchant ship. They leave this place behind. Truth be told, it can't come soon enough. Is that the end? I didn't get anywhere close to finding that crap that people wanted me to find. Uh, is it? Is that the end? Help. Uh, what? What? Wait a second. I don't know if I found any bones for that dude. Yeah, I don't think so. Oh, what is he doing? In a single distressing breath, you exhale the crystal eye into your room. You immediately begin scanning all of your belongings with gusto. What's up, man? Appreciate your co cooperation. Would you like this item? I don't know, understand what it is. Hey, that's useful. It presents a celebrity gossip magazine to you. You sort of nod to show your appreciation of the gift, but the creature is already busy itself, scanning every tile of the sewing. So I can take this. You walk up with Nadu to Nadu with the celebrity gossip mag in your hand. He does a few extra sit-ups while pretending not to notice your presence, then realizing you were there, flashes a trademark smile your way. Man, oh man, I knew I could count on you. Let me take a look at that thing. Hmm. So she's working for them now. And she's single? Very interesting. <laughs> oh, he was the Mickey boy. Let's keep the looking for that page. Here it is. Nadu caught on camera. Two timing on his mistress. Photographed by his wife. Aw, oh, darn it! I had a feeling she had a feeling. <laughs> Got to hand it to my wife, though. Caught me fair and square. The jig is up. I mean, this is all hearsay. No proof. That could be anyone doing sit-ups on the floor of that seating cafe. The dude gives you a naughty wink as if <laughs> you weren't convinced he was guilty before you even saw the magazine. Here, kid. Take my good luck charm. Things may be rocky from here on out, but cherish these memories and write a tile. All book when you're older. You might just do that. The do hands you a celebrity disguise. Think a tabloid might buy this for a couple clams. Oh, he's gonna give me seasoning. Uh, oh, I know who that is. It's this New Jersey dude down here. He wants seasoning. You want seasoning, bro? Uritus! Let's have it! You cautiously hand the seasoning creature the seasoning you brought from Lefton's shop. You hope it has no questions about the mixture because you honestly have no answers to give. Right on, mate. Right on. That's the ticket. Just what the doctor ordered. Here, mate. On the nose. On the house. Drink up. Creature produces a and offers you what appears to be a cup of salt water. This air exchange has made you extremely uncomfortable. Who wants salt water? Oh, I use my celebrity disguise. Well, aren't you the clever one? I apologize, I applaud your ingenuity. I'm impressed. Can I see those for a moment? You smile and hand over the sunglasses. He crushes them under, oh, her heel. I'm pretty clever too. If you ever pull something like that again, I'll call my bodyguard to kick your butt. 
know for a fact that she doesn't have a bodyguard anywhere on the ship, but you aren't going to call her on it. Wouldn't do any good. Now hold out your hands. You obey her orders with a bit of concentration. Estrella focuses her impressive light into a single beam and aims it at your outstretched hand. You guess she's going to deliver a scorching, a scorching burn. Then when you open your eyes, you find a yourself holding an orb of concentrated radiation. They are monographed. That had better be enough for you. It's better than you deserve. Now, please leave me be. Be impolite to tell her that you have no interest in her autograph at this point. You stuff it in your pocket and resign yourself to this misunderstanding. Use radiation, my dude. More out of spite than anything, you decide to pour the salt water <laughs> down the robot's fuel hatch. It sputters and struggles to choke down the foreign liquid, even though it was just threatening you with the military force of the Dominion. You feel kind of bad for making a drink that. It seems like you killed it. Yep, it's downright dead. Oh wait, it just changes robotic body chemistry. Now salt water is literally its favorite thing. Model order one X-ray seven Bravo Bravo Alpha software copyright three one two zero Domino Soft. Please wait. Good morning, inferior biological help. Requisition order refilled. Fulfilled. I am now authorized to provide you with surplus Dominion weaponry. Supply dangerously low. Unfortunate. Under normal circumstances, your reward would have been a power nuclear-powered combat baton. Said, please accept this military accessory. Use it reasonably, responsibly. The order model presents you with laser sight. It's too bad this. Oh, I know who likes laser sights. Oh, I know who likes laser sights. Cats like laser sights. Come here, you little sucker. I know what you want. <laughs> Ding dong. You suddenly get a funny idea. It's kind of naughty to do this to the grumpy cat, but what what do you have to lose? You set up the laser sight on the floor, casting a little light at the far wall. You wiggle it a few times to get his attention. There he goes. He's looking curiously at the light dancing across the wall. Cool. Now it's on the floor. He pounces, but you move it away just in time. You spread wide on the floor, trying to block its path. The light jumps up back up back to the wall. He scrambles up four or five feet before dropping to the ground and trying again. You spin the light around him for a while and he chases it energetically. Winded, he slouches on the ground and you switch the light off. Tsk, is that all you've got? Wait, he knew it was you the whole time and more importantly, he's still acting like a big shot. I haven't had a challenge like that since I was a runt. But anyway, you slice it. I came out on top this time. There's literally no way you could have called the he could be called the victor in this exchange. But you hold your tongue. Here, take this before I change my mind. The tabby cat points to a mounted cyber guppy with his nose. You pick it up with reverence, admiring its craftsmanship. Corner is on P Tabby. I'm kind of an extinct fish hobbyist. Not a big deal. Psst, don't look too deep into this, right? Alright, now beat it. He says as much, but his tail is pulsing with unmistakable contentment. You leave the sight with him, just in case he wants to play with it later. When he thinks you're out of view, he rubs his body along its rigid edges and purrs. Oh, that works. Bone Appetit. I didn't know you can buy multiple things from them. That's good, at least. Who wants a jar of peanut butter? Yeah. Who wants peanut butter, my dude? You have a smart idea. You take out the jar of peanut butter, unscrew the cap, and place it before the sleeping dog. For a while, nothing changes, and then a sniffer activates long before his eyes open. His snout is leading him to the jar, then as sleep fades, his eyes shoot open. He hovers above the jar, sniffing within. He looks down at you to make sure it's okay. Then he polishes the jar clean, smacking his jowls. He lies back down. His eyes are wide and attentive. Okay. I am awoken. The sleeper addresses you with a burning voice. He's still licking the peanut butter off the roof of his mouth. I will grant you one wish. Think carefully. Many have... Wish in haste and live to regret their folly. I want you. I guess. 
I had a master once. The first time I caught her eyes wandering, I knew we could not last. You named me Charles. She lives with a pug now. I will grant you your true desire. Look within yourself. You know it to be true. The Sleeper nudges his self-published sleep dream interpretation manual, manual in your direction with a snout. He nods solemnly. You smile politely. He lays his hand between his paws and stares. I got you something, bro. Oh, hey there, friend. What's that you're reading? You offered me Rue the dream interpretation manual. Within minutes, the effect is palpable. Miro's eyes widen and sparkle in ecstasy. This is incredible. I don't know who the sleeper is or how he plumbed the depths of nocturnal experience so comprehensively, but he may just be the premier snoozeologist of our time. Oh, you'd like to hear the explanation? All right, so you remember the, wait, when I said I felt like <laughs> I could just completely forgot my dream. Well, that just figures, doesn't it? Tell you what, I'm going to keep this with me in case I need to consult it again tonight. Take this. Miru hands you a bouquet of gilded purple lilies. These may come in handy for you if you ever have to trade with a merchant, any merchant tribes. A surprising number of salesmen trade on the GPL standard. Anyway, you really came through with this for me with this manual. Somewhere deep down, my subconscious understands that this dream perfectly fine now. Oh dear, my cochlea is burning. What could it be? What is that in your hands? What is that? Um, hmm, sorry, I couldn't help but notice the pur gilded purple lilies in the hand. They look very nice. Would you consider trading them to me? Oh, well, I give you in return. How about my merchant's license for this sector? Is that okay? It's a good deal. Let's trade. No backsies. Lepton is upon the lilies like a fiend. They must be exceptionally valuable to his species. Heck, you don't have a use for a merchant's license, but it's not as heavy. You got a symbol of clams. What does that mean? Manners ears perk up when you approach. You allow him to sniff your person with furious interest until he finds his way to your pocket. Teeth gently protruding, he extracts the beast chop. What happens next is unspeakable. Carnivore smacks of na naivety against this shocking display of wanton gluttony. Seconds, nothing remains of the flesh. He returns you bare bones, pick clean. Ashes to ashes, I will fight, live to fight one more day. Now as never before, you wish to scratch his ears. What are you, are those, are those bare bones? Thieves' many faces are blankly staring off into space, but its gelatinous mass is straining forward with hungry anticipation, might as well help it out. You hold the bone by the very tip of its close end and delicately press the other into Cleve's body. The bone is immediately slurped out of your grasp and then flows vertically within. Slowly, shivers of bone separate and start to form a complex webbing of internal structure inside the formless gel. Oh my sweet ward. You really brought this back in the nick of time. I've lost a lot of water, but I'll live. Where did you find this bone? It's completely strapped, stripped free of flesh. On second thought, don't even tell me. No, no, I don't want to know. Here's a little something for all of the trouble you went through. My species don't really do personal belongings, but this was a special case. That grilled face old man was really boiling my blood earlier, so I stole his prized possession while he was asleep. Nice. You can have it. With a full stomach and a clear mind, I can feel kind of bad about the whole thing. Maybe give it back to him, or maybe give it to the family of the person you murdered to get this bone for me. No, no, no. Don't even begin to explain it to me. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. It makes no difference to me. All I'm saying is, if someone comes snooping around asking questions about bones, I'll wrap you right out. Thanks again, buddy. You feel like you shouldn't get involved with the species again if you can species again if you can help it. They're kind of two-faced. You received a supportive cushion. Oh, I guess that's what it was. Alright, I got your cushion, bro. I is that the old girl faced man snatches the supportive cushion from your hands. I know you wouldn't let me down, kid. Here, take this. No, go on, take it. It's the least I can do. You receive a bottle of medicated lotion. Won't be needing that anymore. Alright, now beat it. You won't be getting anything else out of me except a warm handshake and a smile. You reach out for a handshake, but the old man gives you a quick jab in the ribs for his knuckle instead. Oh, ho, 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 ho. you've got to wake up early in the morning and be, come on. Now scram. And thanks again. That's funny. Who wants lotion? You don't seem like you want lotion. Oh, that's what you want? You cuff to announce your presence to Tulip, who had nodded off. You present the mounted cyber guppy while she rubs her eyes. I knew I could trust you, kid. Let me see. Retrieves... 
Two of retrieves extremely impressive looking scientific instruments and gets to work studying the fossil. It's all a bit too complicated for you to understand. She must be a great scientist. Sorry kid, I accidentally woke a dermat epidemic. Here, you can have it. What? Philip hands you a revived apocryvirus. Oh, I know who wants that. Wait, what? You want that, don't you? When you approach, Voshel stops everything she's doing and turns to face you. What's that smell? Can you smell that? That smells like an ancient plague. What do you have in your pocket? Let me see it. Come on. Well, she hit the nail right on the head. You produce the revived apocryvirus and hand it to the quivering cuboid. Oh my, what a perfect specimen. What a bounty. Hi there, little guy. Would you like to play under the microscope? Is it wrong to feel an inkling of pity for the biological scourge? You decide to take a walk and stretch your legs while you wait for Voshel to study the virus. You're only gone for a few minutes, but when you return, she's gone back to her game. Haha, <laughs> maybe I was a little too hard on the poor little thing. Changes the elemental properties to make me lose interest, and it worked. Want it back? Shell hands you a pocket-sized clone. It looks just like you for the most part and is not very happy to no longer be in her position, possession. This was a setback, but I'm more on fire for my calling than ever before. I'm really pumped right now. Thanks for giving me that chance. Shell gives you a genuine smile. She's going to be a great epidemiologist. Epidemiologist one day, I guess. I know where you're going, dude. Sorry. <laughs> That's awful. Okay. What's up, man? You want some clone? It will crumbles. Step inside. You don't really feel any closer to joining them, but you decide to toss your clone that way, just to see what will happen. In an instant, it is swallowed up by in the inky mixture. Then, like a spring bud, something sprouts out of the extremity. Interesting. Most unexpected. We feel the depth of your care. We feel you now. You have shown us a light. It warms the flesh. We return the kindness. A gift of them. A tome is born... Born from the pitch black puddle and floats in your direction, you receive it more warily. It is a book of secrets. Whispers in the night. We hear them all. Do not be afraid. Nothing to fear. Okay, I think I know who wants the book of secrets. It's the guy that won't tell me anything. Let's keep your everything a secret. Much to your surprise, Scout seems to take an interest in your book of secrets. He points his heavy glove at you. You really wanted to see if there was an article about you. Oh well, you hand it over for a long time, Scout holds the tome very close to its visor, pouring over page after page, and a couple of minutes in, you hear a growing sound. <laughs> Scout's muffled laughter is distressing, but a tone and bland. It lasts for quite a while, then before turning to the next page, it hands you an item. Scout holds a rusty space knife by its blade. While you may not need an item like that, you have to appreciate it. A person who passes a sun, a sharp object the polite way. I got you something, my dude. You want this knife? When you really think about it, you suppose the rusty knife, face knife is technically contraband. You chuck it in the tank slot and wait for it to recover from sleep mode. Contraband detected. Your city fat thanks you. Your criminal disposition is fading from memory. A commemorative snapshot for us, not for you. It goes in a good citizen yearbook, tax deductible. For us, not for you. <laughs> Useful. As the little tank starts to roll off, it drops something out from its rear hatch. Looks like it only had enough, has enough room for one piece of contraband at a time. You found a box of mortars. Who wants mortars? What the? <laughs> like, why would I know that? Oh, we found something. Sluice key. Time! Let me in. Yeah, sluice it. Door slosh is open. Slosh slosh. Oi. Alright, what's up, man? In the corner of the shower dressing room, two sh ship slivers of a mysterious substance float in vertical parallel. Hi there. Yeah, hiya. We're strain. I'm strain A and I'm strain B. We just got married. We're grow going to grow old together. Oh, honey, I still love to say it. Strand B. <laughs> You'll get used to it, dear. Just our name. Yeah, but, yeah, but, Strand B. Oh my gosh, I'm blessing. You can see that we're very much in love. We can finish each other's meals. Just kidding. Oh, <laughs> oh God. Anyways, we need a favor. It isn't big, it's a small one. We want to build a house together. A great big castle, a Starter home is just fine for now. 
We found a bunch of bricks to lay. Oh, we, I got mortar for you. And this shower is nice and damp, the way it has to be, the way I like it. But we need something to stick them. What is it called again, dear? A tassel. No, it's mortar. Oh, <laughs> not that one, dear. Not that one. I know. I know. Mortar. I got it. So if you happen upon any, fork it over. Top it up. Oh, <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> you don't have what they're looking for yet, but... Wait, I have a mortar. You're back. Wait, is that? Yeah, it's that. The mortar me need. Me we need. The couple greedily snatched a box of mortars out of your hands and dig in. You're certain that life... That isn't going to work. On further inspection, they're processing the material into a sticky pulp and using it to construct the house. What do you know? How are they processing the material? It's disgusting and hard to explain. You aren't even going to try. You really helped us out. We're going to give you something nice. Yeah, big kiss from me. Oh, you better not mean that, honey. Just kidding, dear. Just kidding. Here, take it with our best wishes. Gran hands you a concentrated unit of dignity. We always wanted to own a house just for us. Don't else. Dignity. And maybe a couple of kitties running around with your dearie. Their laugh is killing me. You really feel like you helped them out. Let's leave the love birds to their work. Alright. Let's look at all this stuff before we leave. I think that's all we needed. Who wants dignity though? We'll find out. Next time. Oh, I know who wants dignity. Easy. That one dude. This is a space waste port. Never enter a shower stall when the red light is on. You could get sucked out with the rest of the trash. That'd be fun, I guess. Soap loves dirt. It is written in marker on the wall. Soap is scribbled out aggressively. Guess it didn't work out. Sluice it. There's a person. It's a fishy person. I got the... You see a snail and... Oh, I know where you need to go. In the corner of the shower stall, it doesn't seem to have the ability to communicate with you. It gets a little scared when you get closer to it. Kind of seems like it doesn't move very well. Its body looks dried out and pruny. Can I have it? You take the bottle of Medicaid Illusion and pour its contents out in front of the creature. Its eye stalks to examine the substance for a while, then very slowly it submerges itself in lotion, then very slowly it starts eating the lotion, then very slowly it regurgitates the lotion. Now fairly lubricated, the snail quickly slides across the floor and slips down the drain. You're kind of dumbfounded, but... Oh, but now that you look a little closer, there's something shiny in the regurgitated lotion. You pick it up and wash it clean. You found a brilliant ring of snails. Give him dignity. Ah, oh, are you back for my merch after all? As humbly as you can, you offer your dignity to the aging entertainer. He considers it for a moment, then turns to your face. His eyes are wet again. You do this for me? It's not a trick, right? If I accept this, I won't be in tabloids tomorrow. No big dumb bluff tricked again. You assure him that you have no other angle. That's a gift for you to him. No strings attached. Now full streams of tears stay in his cheeks. So glad, I'm so glad. You never had any of my own. I just don't know where to begin. Thank you for what you've done for me. He bows deeply and presents a small box to you. You open it gratefully. He urges you to open it. So you do. You accept it gratefully, my bad. You find a pair of novelty socks. His face is embroidered on each one. This is an incredibly poor taste. What do I do? Okay. Present the brilliant ring of snails. God. What's this? Precise construction. The precious jewels so carefully inlaid. The overall smell of it. This is a championship ring. Are you saying I can have this? Cynic Doak sits in the corner with a smile on his face, and then the frame turns gray and he passes away. What? He died? Oh, there we go. He's up again. Oh, thank God. Sorry about that. Just had to change the old battery. Organ failure. Oh, give me your heart. It's pretty common in my species, so we just evolved to grow new ones. He hands you the heart of a champion. The kind of bow, bow, and you kind of bow, and try your hardest not to be rude. This is pretty symbolic in this culture. Just toss that out for me when you leave, all right? The ring fits me like a glove. Someone must have been very happy to earn this in battle long ago. One day, I'm going to earn my own, fair and square. The boxer stares at you with fierce determination. The singular sense of purpose must be very important to become a champion. Maybe one day, you will really will be one. It has a really nice way to it, that's for sure. Thanks for thinking of me. My next victory will be dedicated to you. Scratch that, I already whispered that to the grave of 10 ton Next up, but you have dibs on the one after that. Thanks.
<sighs> Sequence is still babbling away when you approach it. You offer the heart of a champion, immediately grabs it and stuffs it into his chest cavity, just as it promised it wouldn't. Oh, now that does feel better. Thanks for bringing this to me. Really comfortable. Kind of his spot. I kind of feel sentient. Haha, <laughs> oops. That's a big no no. My programming frowns upon free thought and feelings. Kind of a taboo. Here, you want this? It really breaks all of the rules to give this to you. Every single one. But, uh, I want to break them. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a sort of tingly sensation in my heart. I think it's love. Haha. Uh -huh. I think I love you. Forget I said anything. Haha. Uh -huh. <laughs> you receive proof of dominion citizenship. It's probably right. Giving it this to you breaks all the rules of interstellar metal regime. What's... Well, I got another achievement. Yeah. What's... I really don't know right now. I got so many items that I don't know who they go to. Oh, the sluice key? Oh, the sluice key works on this. Thank God. Okay. Arachnoid machine is running perpetually into the wall at the back of the freezer. Signal lost. Searching. Signal lost. Looks pretty hopeless. Probably has no idea that the dominion of Echo Bravo 10 has fallen. These kind of spider tanks used to convert dangerous materials into oh, I got some of that into usable formats. Back when they were biological biologicals on their side. You wonder if it still works. You drop the radiation on the ground near the machine's feet. It stops searching for a signal long enough to visualize, visually analyze the sample. It picks it up and goes to work. Convert to... What do I need? Hamburg? Oh, okay. The machine is whirring, crushing, beeping, and whisking the radiation into usable form. Just hope the result will be usable to you in specific. Conversion complete. A tray... There we go. A tray slides out the robot's core, bearing a jar of inorganic protein powder. This is absolutely useless to you. You think about turning over a new leaf and getting rubbed. Nah, forget it. You'll find someone else that wants this. Yeah, sluice key works. That's crazy. Oh, look at that face, So. I'm gonna stash away a treasure chest in the. I need a save. For I, I that face over there kind of creeps me out. I don't want to die. Before you even touch the chest, it pops right open. There's an IOU inside. Shucks. <laughs> nice. What's up, creepy face? What you want? Someone painted a weird-looking feline face on the wall behind the boilers. It's really cool, but also really spooky. Break your finger for me, please. I'd rather not. You jump back when you hear the painting speak. No, no, don't be afraid. I only want a little of what you have. Just a couple drops. You don't think I'm scared? Yes, I do. I only want a little, bro. Just a little bit, I guess. The painting salvage when you agree. It looks like it's straining to leave its two-dimensional boundary. Perhaps you had better rethink this for now. Oh, come on. Approach me. I'm just peckish. I'm not starving. I'm not famished. I'm not going to hurt you. If it would only stop insisting that it doesn't want to hurt you, it might have a better chance at ensnaring its meal. Don't leave me all alone here. I only want a little bit. Protein! Omatsu screams and leaps upon the inorganic protein. You just drop it and stand back. He tears the lid away, inspects it, and then gets his blender out. He chops up a few fruits. He's making a smoothie. And vegetables, pours some almond milk, carefully transfers two scoops of powder into the mixture, closes the lid, and some studiously blends. Very clear that he has done this a million times before. When it's exactly the right texture, he stops blending and transfers the potion to a sleek workout bottle. He takes a sip. He immediately becomes more vascular in tone. This stuff really works, huh? Thanks. Here, for you. Hand mirror. He begins a rotation calisthenics. I know who wants that. Back again, huh? Oh, you poor dear. Let's see if I can put this another way. Sort of like looking through a window, but instead of seeing... Wait, that's it. That's it. Give me. Rude. Esmeralda wraps a strong tentacle around the hand mirror and wrings it free of your grasp. Oh dear me, just look at how pretty I still am. It's been seven days since my last lava bath and I was just, oh, I was just being self-conscious. There's no way my beauty could have faded. I made that pact. Oh, so now you want a reward, huh? Oh, it's Esmeralda from the Little Mermaid. Uh, now, don't get any funny ideas with dinner with me. Oh, the question, kiss on the cheek, that happening. Or Ursula, that's what the little mermaid I have for all day. But someone left this. God, my freaking.
someone left this weapon of war under my pillow last night, the other night, and I want it out of my sight. Take it. I know how your kind likes a good sharp gun. Scissors? Esmeralda cautiously dangles a pair of scissors in your direction. Cal would wonder why those were under her pillow, and if they were pointed upwards. Hey, is this for me? Really? You shouldn't have. Space maid floats a pair of floats a pair of household scissors out of your pocket and into the air around her. They start clipping automatically. Don't look, don't look, just give me a second. Close your eyes. You do as she says and look away while she busies herself with the scissors. Holy crap, her body's gone. So what do you think? It's like cut, good job. Don't lie to me, you son of a gum. You hate it. You hate it and you hate me, don't you? Just kidding. Haha, <laughs> this is just sort of a space made joke. I hope I didn't scare you too much. Ha ha ha. You had a funny feeling she was this type of maid. This is how I really look. I usually tie my hair up into a bipolar illusion to fit in around other people, but I don't know. I just feel like being myself right now. You want some of the scraps? It sounds gross, but space made hair is universally praised for its tensile strength and its unbeatable quality in wing making. He floats a lock of space made hair back over to you and lays it directly into your pocket. Well, best not look like look a gift horse in the mouth, right? Okay. Oh, let me in. Sniff, sniff. Hey, pal. No, I'm doing okay. Don't worry too much about me. You, you what? You present the wig you made off screen out of space made hair. You made a few bottle lit stylistic decisions, but you'll think they'll fit Humphrey's taste. You, you did this for me. Just as soon as the water walk stopped, here they come again. The poor thing is bawling his eyes out while he tries us on the wig. Fits pretty well, though. That's good. I'm happy for him. He took a step back to admire Humphrey's new look. What do you think? I look pretty dashing, don't I? Phew. I think I'm done crying. I got a little bit of my swagger back. It's all thanks to you. Yeah, you're welcome. Here, take this. It's just a little appreciation. Gesture of my appreciation, like the wig. It's handmade and one of a kind. It really, I really appreciate you, pal. Humphrey hands you a symbol of love. You aren't mistaken. This may be one of the treasures you keep with you for a very long time. Humphrey is beaming. What a good hearted smile. It's gonna be alright. Alright, there's another achievement. Maybe you want it. Can't stand it. Yes, thank god. I don't even know who you are. You're taken as a surprise when the figure speaks. You ask them to speak up and repeat what they said. I can't stand it one more night. If I have to hear one more word about the outfit there, about my outfit, there's going to be a murder on this station. If I have to hear one more word about my hair, I'm just cut it all off. If I have to hear one more word about my cheekbones, I'm going to become a lich and raise a cheekbone army. You think you know who I am? Esmeralda. <laughs> the stranger nods gravely with daggers in her eyes. I'm Hannah. I'm her roommate. <laughs> and I'll reward you if you assassinate her for me. Oh, she's a scissors girl. Alright, I can compromise. You gave her a mirror, right? Don't ask me how I know. I just know. Steal that mirror from our room. She keeps it in a makeup box under her bed. I left it out after I tried to cut a cast a hex on it. It didn't work. I'll give you something that's precious to me if you do it. Don't get excited. It won't be my last tree. I think her room would be this one, probably. Yeah. Find Esmeralda's mirror, hand mirror and pocket it. You cover up your tracks by sliding the box back under her bed, but now your hands are covered in glitter. You didn't touch your face, right? Hey, we did it. Okay, let's go back to Ding Dong. You wanted something, but I found it. Before you have time to say anything, Hannah splits the hand mirror over her knee, tosses the scraps down a drainage gate grate, and stares intently at you. This is very important to me. You held up your end of the bargain, now I'll hold up mine. Anna places a book delicately, delicately into your hands. It, you read its title aloud. Burning, oh I know who wants this, Burning Girl Makoto, Volume 1. She's my hero. I wanted to be like Makoto when I was a little girl. It didn't work out quite like that, but it still means a lot to me. You can sell it when you're done reading it. It's worth a lot of money. It's first edition. There's a misprint on the last page. Esmeralda wrote about you in her diary. Huh? No, I didn't say anything. Hey, I got a... Okay. Uh, you want it. 
Hey there, saving the formalities. You have something I'll want in your pocket. I'll trade you for it. Someone here wants what I have to offer, believe me. As if possessed, you slide your first edition copy of Burning Girl Makoto into Yusutota's reception chamber. From beneath, another chamber opens up, releasing white-tailed Zenzilla. Chinchilla. She's a squirrely little character. Watch out. Oh, you want to know who wants her? Well, it would spoil the fun if I told you. Just look up the guide online. No, I'm not looking up the guide. I'm this far without doing it, so I'm not doing it. Wait for Kai. Wait a minute, that smell. You have a white tail jitsujilla in your pocket? I could smell its particular radioactive aura as soon as you walked into the room. AI? Wow, just look at it. Isn't it the cutest? Fun facts about jitsujillas. They don't clean themselves in water, but in meteor showers. Wait, what? I can keep it. Are you sure you won't miss having it around? It only chews on your ears if it can find them. Keep them covered. You sure? This is fantastic. Here in exchange, you can have one of my most prized- Why do you have that? Prized possessions and blood bucket. DK hands you a bucket. Full about halfway up with dark red blood. You're so shocked you can barely speak. Is this what he does with his pets? Oh, oh, oh hold on. I know that look. Let me explain. A blood bucket is a plant species from my home world. It's all natural. It just has a silly name. Oh, okay. The sap is actually edible. If you want to give it a taste, no, I'm good. You thank TK humbly, but immediately look back away from the conversation. There's no way in the universe that he will convince you to drink from the blood bucket, but I know who will. Okay. As cool as it is, you really don't have any other use for the blood bucket. You decide to place it next to the painting and see what happens. The hideous cat eyes snap open when it awakens to your presence. As if a vacuum, the blood is drawn upwards from the bucket and sucked directly into the painting's moth. What a bounty, what a feast. I know not why you did this for me, but you will be rewarded for your service. Take this. A symbol of blood appears in your hand. It's a little bit sticky and smells weird. The painting strips the bucket, inch by inch, free of its structure and consumes it all. Now behold the majesty of Thistle. Okay, that's all the achievements. And I'm gonna make sure, count all the people, that the Steam page says that they're supposed to be. I think they're supposed to be 32. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Yeah, that's 32. 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32. And he has gone all the way. He's done all the things. There's five completion based endings, but I don't know what that means. So we're just going to go to the ending now because we completed it. Let's go. Let's save. And that is all the achievements as well. So I'm gonna go back and edit this and probably uh, cut out the in between where I got lost for the longest. But yeah. see what the ending is. Hopefully it's something new and not the same thing. I don't know how you really get different endings in this game, but I know where the ending is. If I don't get another ending, I guess that's just too bad for me. It took me two hours and a half to finish everything. There it is, hanging in space like a swollen red fruit. In a few moments, everyone will board the escape parts and disembark. And then who knows? The atmosphere may be toxic, the ground may be arid, the creatures may be hungry, the sun may boil your blood. But there's no going back now. For a moment, you think of home. Your heart hurts. Nothing for it, though. Only one way forward. Here we go. Damn, did I get the same ending for real? Okay, cool. Different ending. To the Red Planet, you have forged unbreakable bonds on the eve of your new journey. What comes next is foreign. It is hostile. It will bring you to your knees. However, despair is far from your mind. You have a living net to break your fall. The Red Planet is not an obstacle. It is not a prison. What is gone is for good. You will make this place your home. Okay, that's the true ending. So, if anybody wants to get all the endings, my advice would be like doing the achievements one at a time, saving in between the achievements and going back there because I think every achievement item is a formed a bond pretty much that gives you a different ending. But I did all the bonds at once and I'm just gonna take that for what it is. Thanks for watching as always guys. I appreciate it and if you could please like and subscribe. Bye.